Hello, hello, this is Core 955. And yeah, Happy Gamer. Back again with more Code Veronica Part 9 today. So, we pick back up wherever the hell we left off. I think we're heading up to the manor. Yep, we're sticking yes. the Lugers in the wall. We got the Lugers off you, sir, Steve. Yep. Oh man, this game is this game has been a blast playing through. Oh, oh. The more I look at this, the more I realize that I want to play it. Well, you probably should. I'd watch you. <laughs> yeah. It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> Hell, maybe we can do this. Both provide live commentary on your stream. That'd be fun. That'd be interesting, certainly. I'm going to assume you're going to head back to uh, Rodrigo, or whatever his name is. Yeah, I think this might be the point where I go back to Rodrigo so I can get the... Oh, did I just take the case out of the box or something? Yes, you did. Okay, yeah. Uh, I looked away at the screen to make sure the audio was recording right. Yep, alright, that's good. Let's see. Yeah, that's also th th that's a major fuck up for me later. Not just not having the lighter, but the uh, with Rodrigo in general. It's like, oh, I go back to save his ass, but well, I don't save his ass a second time. Yeah. So the big problem with Rodrigo is that you really should do it after you've done the Alfred Manor, because the Manor has the bats. Yeah. So the bats weren't too bad of an issue. I mean, no. they don't do a lot of damage, so I just kind of killed them off, but yeah. Yeah, cause... they're like the crows in the other games. They're not really that much of a problem most of the time. Yeah, except they just look kind of cooler. So yeah, we've been, we've been doing pretty well. Oh, this is when I noticed those herbs, because I turned the brightness down. It's like, ooh, free healing items. Best not forget these. Yep, free loot. Eat one right there, because I got bitch smacked by a bandersnatcher snatcher on my way down. Probably eat the yes. other one on my way back out. Oh, the bandersnatchers snatchers are horrible. Yeah. Oh, man, when we get the Chris, I did, you know the one that appears with Wesker? Uh, yes. I, I pretty much just laid into him with an assault rifle. Oh yeah, as you do. As long as you don't let him get close enough, uh, they're really easy. Like, cause they can only do the regular bitch smack. Oh, there's why I accidentally did the mini map again. <laughs> but yeah, bandit snatches, as long as you do that little trick on them. Oh, I thought this is something I found funny when I was doing my let's play like you know how most of the building the base isn't actually exploded yep uh, and like you know how you find zombies with random bombs on them yes so my my little head cannon is just the Wesker's just running around before the bombs go off nicking them and sticking them to random zombies either that or um Albert Wesker Al has been spending too much time in the Middle East. I was going to say, either that or Alf Alfred blew all the explosive budget on jets and tanks. Certainly a possibility. This is Alfred we're talking about. <laughs> Rodrigo, he's just like, Rah! What are you doing here? Yeah. It's like, really, dude? You didn't point your gun when she opened the door? Uh, yeah. It's like weird. I think I don't think he noticed the sound. I think he noticed the light. Certainly a possibility. But yeah, either way, he's been bleeding for a while, so <laughs> he's probably not maintaining consciousness very well. Yeah, fucking Alfred. That motherfucker had two jets. Not one, but two Harrier jump jets. Hey, what can you say? When you're rich, you're rich. Oh yeah, so a little joke about the submarine being in basically like a 
dry dock eh, yep. may or may, may not be correct because I, I realized Wesker stole the fucking submarine. That's how he got the Antarctica. He just fucking stole the submarine. Oh god, that doesn't make sense. Maybe, maybe it was a levee and he just opened the levee. Uh, it's a possibility. That or Wesker picked the damn thing up and threw it into the sea. I don't know. Wesker's certainly strong enough to do that. At this point, oh yeah, there's a funny bit when a late, late game, Chris finds this glass case that he has the one of the dragonfly wings in. He's like, oh, I can't open this with my hands. Later on, Resident Evil 5, oh, boulder in my way? Let's punch it the fuck out. Yeah. But this is, this is, uh, this is pre, <laughs> this is pre-Roid Chris. <laughs> God, though. I really wish the games went back to this. It's, it's fun, it's realistic, the storytelling is actually amusing, but serious. We've just, all we've got to do is we've just got to cross our fingers and pray that they don't mess up the um, Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, uh, 50 been, 50 that they will. I've been hearing bad rumors about that. Let's the hope they is, stay rumors. Oh, they yeah. are all rumors at this point because they're, they're they released no information about the game at all. Yeah, because this one I've heard is so far. Looks like they might be considering removing the campaigns option. I.e., you just get one playthrough. Like, or maybe just one A, one B. Which would just I mean, be sad. Yeah. Uh, also, the annoying thing was. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Also, I don't want to imagine uh, RE4 Leon doing the voice for RE2. Because well, it's gonna be weird. The thing was that it was because of the ride, the voice actors strike, but that strike is now ended, so if they hadn't actually done the voice recording at that point, I don't see why they couldn't still get them. Oh uh, yeah, get what, like Paul Haddad? He was get part of that strike? the voice actors, yes. Oh, is that why, uh... I'm, I'm not sure about Leon, but I know that Claire, so Claire's original voice actor was part of the voice actor strike. And that yeah, was Alison why she Cord wasn't repri reprising her role. Yeah, honestly, I, I'm that asshole that'd be like, you know what, fuck all y'all. I, I like the role. I'm playing the role. I don't give a shit what y'all have an issue with. Yeah, the problem is that yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah, then so you finally got. Wow. <laughs> Such <laughs> worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, once you hit the lockpick, you get a lot of things all at once. That is true, but still, that particular one where it's just, you've got the lockpick, have some hand can ammo. Eh, I can kill more zombies with it at the very least. True. God knows I love killing zombies in this game. Isn't that the best part of this game? Yeah, oh yeah, another thing. I really hate the hunters in this game. Is there uh, a game where the hunters are fair, though? Resident Evil 3, kind of? Mmm... The or hunters, maybe, but you've got, then you've got the, like, the frog the, ones. Yeah, well, yeah, there's, there's, like, three types of hunters in there, isn't there? There's the gamma... There's at least two. Yeah, there's the frogs, there's the regular hunters, which, because of... RE3's randomization, you can get either one in the hospital. Yeah, and it's a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't like about Resident Evil 3 is they fucking randomized everything. Hey, key items? Yeah, random building. Key characters? Yeah, random encounter. Yeah, and it's just uh, passwords and all that? Random. Oh, you know this water puzzle? It's completely random. Yeah, totally random. All the puzzles are random. It's just like, god damn. That's, that's gotta be speedrunning nightmare fuel. Um, it is. It absolutely is. So, uh, interestingly enough, on that note, that Resident Evil 3 is probably the 
the one game that has the most resets in Resident Evil. Mind <laughs> you, the speed run for that game is down to a science. Like, it is amazing if you watch people like uh, Wuss Cake and all that actually do the run. It's, like, perfect almost at this point. But yeah. there are so many points in that game where there is RNG that is just a forced reset. Yeah, th that's one thing I really, really like about, uh, what's it called? Like, speedrunners is learn some really cool tr tips and tricks that anyone can use, not just for speedrunning in general. Like, I, I learned a few shortcuts in Dark Souls that I used on my Let's Play. <laughs> now those are some interesting speedruns as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dark Souls, I love the fact that it's so open-ended that, hey, you want to go hit, go wherever the fuck you want. Just do it as quick as you can. Yeah, especially if you've got the master key starting off with as well. Oh yeah. That's why I always take the Thief class, because you get the starter Master Key and another starting gift. So it's like, trade a couple early stats for essentially two decent items. Yeah. It's like, Master Key plus, uh, I usually take the old Witch's Ring so I can talk to Quailana. Okay, interesting. So I've never actually finished Dark Souls, I should probably say. I've finished Demon Souls, mind you, but just not Dark Souls. I still haven't finished Demon Souls, just because I... I think I... Oh yeah, I was last live streaming it. That's why I didn't finish it. Ah, maybe you need to add that to your thing after you've done Dark Souls 1. Do oh yeah. Do a, a prequel before jumping into Dark Souls 2. I'm thinking either Demon Souls... Uh, if the time limit's buffed on Vidley by then, maybe Metal Gear. I dare not do Metal Gear before the time limit because, hell, some cutscenes will just be 15 minutes on by their own fucking selves. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you could probably do it, but you'd have to cut the cutscenes out. Well, I'd have to uh, either cut the cutscenes out or uh, do some editing. Yeah, yeah this some is serious editing. Yeah, well, not really. I just find a sp spot where the um, actions died down. Like, if there's one thing I like about Code Veronica, is some of the cutscenes, because they're so big, it st goes into a loading screen. Those make for really convenient points to uh, jump between videos. That is true. I can see that being the case for sure. I, I actually use that for the last part with the... Uh, my god, Alexia. That's a... She's so fucking hard to hit with that damn linear cannon. That is probably one of the worst final bosses. Like, in terms of difficulty, not a hard boss in the slightest. But just in terms of actually getting that shot off, my god, that's annoying. Yeah. By that time, she might have just fucking lit you on fire enough to kill you. Or poisoned you. Or I've one certainly... of the little tentacles smacked you to death. I've certainly died enough times on that boss. I somehow only managed to die once. The second time was just pure luck that I managed to uh, do enough damage before the... And I did learn to basically get the f fuck away from the tentacles as quick as I can. Yes. I'm not talking I about the big to... ones. I'm talking about the little bug ones that jump up that run around and have a little tentacle spurt out of their back. There's one thing that Resident Evil does love, it's its tentacles. Well, it is a Japanese game. I was about to make that joke myself. <laughs> Sorry to any Japanese viewers, by the way. But stereotypes do exist for a reason. <sighs> <laughs> I mean... You cannot, you cannot see it, but I am face palming right now. <laughs> so that is a deep sigh followed with a face palm. Just if you need the visual. Too bad it, it didn't make an auto auditorial slap. All right, this one's about the end. Mm -hmm. So this has been Core Nine Five Five and Hyper Gamer playing Code Veronica. Thank you for joining us, and goodbye. Bye bye.